Hi, I'm Margie Holmes, psychologist, author, and educator. Today's episode is about something that causes pain to practically anyone who's on the receiving end of it, particularly if that person doesn't know he is, and that is love on the rebound. Now, what exactly is rebound love? Well, rebound love is a new relationship which is meant to get you past the old one. So someone is in a rebound relationship if he has been rejected and is therefore looking for another relationship that will make him feel better about himself. Or if he is looking for a sexual partner to help him with his needs. Now, how do I know therefore? How would someone know if it's true love or just a rebound? First, it is very important, if there is a rebound relationship at all, to know if you are the active partner, meaning the rebounder, or the one that is doing the hurting, the one that is doing the using, or if you are the reboundee, the one who is being hurt, the one who is being used. So first, let us go to the rebounder. Because let's face it, some people are users and don't really know they are unless you tell them. And if they are honest, they will admit that they are. But if they're honest, then if they're not honest, if they're dishonest, they will never admit it. Okay? So how do you know if you want to know whether you are the rebounder kung ikaw yung gumagamit ng tao? Well, here are some clues. Number one, you constantly talk about your ex. Number two, you lie to your current partner. For example, you lie about the reasons you want to go somewhere or you don't want to go somewhere because the reasons you do or don't are because of your ex. You might see him, you might see her, etc. Number three, you are too interested in what your old love is up to. Uh, you stalk him, for example, either via Facebook, etc. Ask all of his friends or her friends what he's doing now, who he's going out with, etc. Number four, you are disappointed when your cell phone beeps and you hope it's from your ex and then you find out it's from your current pala. Hindi ba kawawa naman yung current? Lalo na hindi pala niya alam that when he texts his girlfriend, his girlfriend is so disappointed that it's a text from him. Okay, number five, you make constant comparisons between your new love and your old love, either out loud or in your head. And even if you pretend or you tell yourself that what naman I say about my old love is all nasty things, hindi pa rin eh, because nasty or good, the fact that you are constantly thinking about your old love, the fact that your your old love is still umiikot-ikot sa mundo mo or sa ulo mo, that means that you still haven't gotten over it. And therefore, if you are in a new relationship, ginagamit mo lang yung new relationship mo para magdal yung pain ng breakup mo sa other relationship. Okay? And finally, the most telling to know kung parang ginagamit mo lang yung current partner mo is if you are willing to drop anyone, including your new partner, to get back to your old love. For example, if someone asks you, well, what if X asks you if you could get back together again? And you will say, yes, I would in faster than a rappler minute. Okay? Now, if you want to know naman if you are the opposite, if, if you are the reboundee, kung ikaw yung ginagamit, kung ikaw ang nasasaktan at hindi mo alam kung bakit, here are some clues. You are a reboundee if your partner still has a picture of his ex in his room, in his car, on his cell, etc. Kumar, at saka, if your partner siguro, if his partner, is, his ex is the wallpaper on his computer, I think that's a fairly good sign. Number two, if he still sees, talks, or texts to his ex, even if he pretends they are doing all this merely as friends. Number three, if he talks about his ex constantly around you and around his friends, if he compares you to his ex, if he uses you to make his or her ex jealous, and if he makes you his therapist rather than his girlfriend. You know, you he'll say, but I don't know why she broke up with me. Eh, ano, ganito ba ako? So, here you are reassuring him, telling him he's okay, telling him he did well, when it is not your role, okay? You are there to be his girlfriend, to make him feel like a man, for him to make you feel like a woman. You are not there to, to assuage his feelings. You are not there to nurture him. I mean, once in a while, of course, you nurture him. You nurture each other. But you are not there to make him feel good about himself. You are there to be two people engaging with 
each other. Okay? Now, I hope I haven't given you the impression that all rebound relationships or all relationships that start out as rebound relationships are bad. Because they're not. But we'll go into that later. Okay? For now, here's an email. Do I have to forgive my ex before I'm ready to date again? No, you don't have to forgive your ex because let's face it, sometimes they do things that are, in a way, unforgivable, okay? So, you don't have to forgive him or you can say, I forgive him, but I don't have to be nice to him, I don't want to smile at him, okay lang yan, no? This is not that you have to make tanim ng galit mo, but just, you know, you, you don't think he's a nice guy and you can't pretend, but even if you don't think he's a nice guy, yes, in fact, not only yes, but yes, please, open your heart, let anyone else come in, and if you see that your welcome map to others coming into your house, heart is threadbare na, simply buy another, di ba? Okay? If it causes so much hurt, why do people have rebound relationships? Well, the ones that are being used, minsan hindi nila alam, right? Because the rebounder is so good in making legal to you, etc. But for the rebounders, why do they get into these relationships at all, even if they know that in the end it will hurt? I mean, they've got to know, especially if they've been doing this two, three, or four times now. One of the reasons is because some people are just too impatient. You know, there is usually a process when we break up with someone. You know, it's almost like a grieving process. Sometimes there are several steps to it, and a person is just too impatient to go through all the steps. Number two, sometimes people see themselves as saviors, you know. And it's amazing how even the most intelligent men and women are drawn to people they consider a challenge. They like fixing things, and therefore, this is the kind of relationships they want to get into. Relationships where they can fix things. Um, number three, you go into things like this because it makes life easier. Uh, and you think it makes life easier, and it does, at least for the short while. Now, tips to avoid being the rebounder or the reboundee. One is you keep telling yourself, he may be in the market, but that doesn't mean that, but that doesn't make him marketable. As they say in financial circles, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So when a person needs reassurance from rejection, of course he will do everything that you want to make you like him, right? So he will do everything, but that doesn't really mean that he's the guy for you. Um, Mahal Kong de Dios, at Mahal Kong de Dios says, when I open myself to meeting new people, I remind myself, they have nothing to do with the pain, so be kind. And I think this is a wonderful way to look at things. It is a great um, thing to remember, especially when you want to know how to find out if you're ready for another relationship. In, in addition to At Mahal, I would also like to thank people like Ramil Andag, Bibibini Camel, Christine Gonzaga, Jay Molly, Sheila Tagara, Jeff Cabahu, Mangar Mangahas, because these are the clues that they gave. If I don't overthink the process, uh, then it is a sign I am ready. If I am killing, then go. If palpak, then okay, ulit ule. The other is, if I can ask myself after the first date, am I ready to date her again? If so, then yes. If not, maybe I still need some healing from the last relationship. Another says, a clue is when I stop FB stalking my ex and when I stop asking about him from other people. Number four is when I tell people to stop telling me about my ex, even if they are, they tell me that he says such nice things about me. That is a very good clue because that means that you are not asking for this reassurance. You don't feel good because you know he's still thinking about you. You know, you're ready to move on and you're no longer wondering, obsessing. You know, what does he think? What does he say? Does he miss me? Etc. Etc. Yet another clue is when you stop comparing your ex with your current, when you don't measure the future possibilities with your ex as the standard. Another lady said, well, I'm not fixated on my mobile, hoping that something will come in. Okay, then, closely related to that first question is, how do I know when I'm ready? When I'm ready to get into a relationship and it's not a rebound relationship. 
For the answers to this, I have Kevin, Joey Ramirez, Sam, at I am Brewing, Brewing Java, at Foxy Rain, AJ Molly, at Anton Kicks Balls, at Anubaday, for all their answers. And these include when you can smile and acknowledge your ex and be more or less natural. When I know na how to set up boundaries. When I can just let go. Walang mangyayari if I let fear rule. Kahit ilang months, years ang lumipas, the next relationship will always be a rebound. Well, it's a rebound in the sense that it is the one immediately after the last one, but it is not necessarily a rebound relationship, okay? Many of you said, take the risk, and I am glad that you did say that. It may be rebound, but it may not be. Or far more importantly, it may start out as a rebound relationship, but later it changes to something better. It changes to something that is good and validating for both of you. However, please, if you are listening to this and you are in a relationship where you feel you are being used, then break up. Don't hold on and, and hope that this relationship will change. Don't, you know, break up. You think he's using you or you think she's using you. Break up. Because a rebound relationship that changes into one that is not rebound it's very rare. It happens, but it's very rare. And please, please don't think that you are the rare one to whom it happens, okay? Usually, that will only set you up for disappointment. Somebody says, uh, among those that I mentioned, you can't know for sure unless you open yourself up to the experience. Even if a great possibility is that you may get hurt, at least you discover that you are not ready. So take baby steps, observe, then Take another step. Take a deep breath, decide to go no further until the heart palpitations stop, or decide to move on. Uh, after all is said and done, I think Ramil Andag says it best. Rebounds may work in basketball, but not in relationships. Thank you once again for all the things you shared. Keep on sending me your stories and suggestions. You may send your questions on Facebook, tweet using the hashtag AskMargie, or send an email to askmargie at rappler.com. See you next week.